Hey guys, and welcome back to another Dragon City gameplay video. I am really excited about this one because I'm going to give you some breeding advice and tips on how to breed very rare dragons and epic dragons. So if we take a look at my hatchery, it is full with eggs that are ready to be hatched. And so let's just um, talk about the epic dragons that I was able to breed. And then I'm going to tell you which dragons I was able to use together. And um, so then that way you guys will be able to breed these on your own. And hopefully you will have the outcome of getting some of these dragons. So the first one I want to talk about is, let's see is this one right here, the Pure Sea Dragon. Now, I think if I remember correctly, um, any of the Pure Dragons, let's say you're just starting off the game and if you happen to breed this dragon, I think it's gonna take a while for you to actually be able to hatch it. It's gonna be stored um, in your storage for a while until I wanna say like level 26 or 28. Um, so that's like the only thing that is like a downside to it that you have to wait so long. But if you're at a higher level, then you breed these dragons and you'll be able to hatch them right away. So the pure sea dragon is an epic dragon. And what I was able to use in order to get this dragon, I have my notes here. I had to write all this down or I wouldn't have remembered it. Um, okay, so let's just go to my dragon book real quick. And, okay, so this is what I bred in order to get the Pure Sea Dragon. I used um, the Fate Dragon, which is this one right here. And I've talked about this one a lot in that usually whenever I use this dragon in breeding, I always get something that's really interesting, really cool. Sometimes it's a legendary or an epic, and um, this is like one of my favorites to breed with other dragons. So I used the Fate Dragon, and I also used the Pure Dragon. So this is the one that I was able to breed it with. And so that's how I got the Pure Sea Dragon. Now the other epic, let's see, let's go back to the hatchery real quick so I can real quick quickly look and see which one is the, um, I think it's, is it this one? No, that one's a rare, uh, is it Tesla? No. Okay, so it's not them. I thought I had another one. Let me just look at my notes real quick. Um, hmm, I'm sure I had another one. Okay, so I guess now we're going to be moving on to rare dragons, or very rare, actually. Um, let's talk about the Tesla dragon, which is this one right here. And this one is a very rare, and um, now that I think back to it, I think I was... Um, Somewhere in the mid-20s, I think, when I was able to breed him. Um, and I'm still able to breed him. So this is one that um, you will eventually be able to breed. and uh, But I don't breed him a lot. Over the years, I haven't gotten him, like, multiple times. So let's just look and see what we had to breed together in order to get the Tesla dragon. So let's go to our dragon book real quick. And let me type in some stuff. Okay, Tesla is okay so this is what i had to breed to get him okay so i used this dragon right here and i was able to get this dragon doing the um i think it was what is it okay doing the quests that's how i was able to get this dragon right here so i took that dragon and I was able to breed it with the Sky Queen dragon, which is this one right here. And that's how I got the Tesla dragon. Okay, so let's see. Let's just take a look, actually, at the um, Fire and Ice. Now, not too long ago, they did an event where um, you could spin a wheel, and this was one of the prizes that you could possibly get. I know everybody didn't acquire this dragon so I did want to include it in this video and let you guys know 
how to get this one. So this one is, um, is this the one I'm thinking of? Is this the fire and ice one? Let me just, <laughs> let me just double check because I know there's another one. Do I have it in storage? Is there another? Okay, so I guess it, no, it's not that one. Anyway, okay, so that's not the one from the event, I guess. The one from the event is... Is this one. Okay, so I messed that up. So, <laughs> um, not the event that just happened, but this is another one that um, you can get through breeding. And uh, I think I already have this one and it's leveled up. But let's just take a look at what I had to breed in order to get this. So, this is the Fire and Ice Dragon. Mm. Okay. So I had to breed that, the cat looking one. Um, I am getting ahead of myself. Okay, so we bred this dragon. And I also was able to partner that with the Cyclops dragon. And that is how I was able to get that dragon. I might be spelling it wrong. Let's just see, where is he? Oh, I know where he is. Okay, so this is what I bred together in order to get um, that dragon. Okay, so that was, we've gone over an epic, we've gone over a rare and a very rare. Um, let's talk about the Nightwind Dragon. Okay, so this is the Nightwind, and he is a very rare dragon. And let's just take a look at what I had to breed together in order to get him. And just note that, like, just because, like, I had this outcome, it may be different for you but if you try it like a few more times you should be able to start getting the ones that I'm getting um okay so let's look at what I had to do in order to get the Nightwind Dragon okay so what I had to breed is I had to breed the War Dragon which is this one right here and I also used the Penumbra Which is this guy right here. So that's how I was able to get the Nightwind Dragon. Um, let me see. What else have I not gone over? Okay, so I think the only one I haven't gone over is the Redwood Dragon. who And he is a very rare dragon. And so let's just take a look at what I had to breed together in order to get him. Now I will admit that this dragon actually I think took a while for me to be able to breed. It wasn't like I had my sights on him. I was trying every now and then to breed him but it took quite a while. So if you guys were able to breed this with no problem, awesome. And uh, that's really cool. So what I had to breed to get this was, let me just, um, okay. So I bred this dragon plus the war dragon. I'll show you guys him again. This guy right here. And I was able to get the dragon, the redwood dragon. So that's how I was able to breed all the ones that are currently in my hatchery. I was actually thinking that, hmm. I'm <laughs> I'm debating whether to um, include the results for my other breeding. Let, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Um, so I have to get rid of these. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't think I can place him. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually one of my things is that I have to hatch eggs. So let me just... Okay, you know what, I'm going to leave the, <laughs> the video here, and um, after this video, I'm going to actually record the results of um, more breeding to give you guys an idea of what you can expect when breeding certain 
dragons together. And so that video will be coming out um, not too long after this one is uploaded. So I hope this has given you an idea of certain dragons that you may have been wanting to breed. And I hope it's been helpful. Um, sorry about the confusion with the uh, fire and ice dragon. It's just the event that they had. You know, that dragon was like in my head and I thought that's what the egg looked like. But I was wrong. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be doing more videos on breeding. Because I really want to give you guys the information of what I've learned and hopefully that'll help you be successful in breeding dragons. So I'm going to leave the video here and thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video, which will be like 10 minutes from now. Okay. Bye guys. Thank you.